How do you do y'all? This is John and today we're talking about Hot Seat, a new movie out in theaters and on VOD right now. Then Hot Seat, it deals with this hacker who is being held captive and forced to hack into a bank and transfer millions of dollars over to this terrorist. And if he doesn't do that, the terrorist is going to blow up countless bombs across the city and kill hundreds if not thousands of people including his family okay so getting into it mel gibson needs a better agent mel gibson's one of the leads he's not the hacker that's kevin dylan however like most of the movies he's been in lately haven't been very good and this is not an exception first of all what little i liked about it you know the acting is fine from the main three kevin dylan Mel Gibson, Shannon Doherty, these two were all good in their parts. Everyone else was like the scattershot of good and bad hits. And there are elements in this movie that I do like. The importance of the family that's in the movie. And, you know, I like messages like that. And Matt Dillon's character is portrayed as a flawed but good dad. Which we don't get to see that whole lot in Hollywood movies these days. Is he a perfect person? No. Is he a perfect father? No. But but by the end of the day, he's doing the best he can to keep his daughter alive. And that's about it. The actual story of the movie is completely nonsensical. And they expect you to take it seriously. I'm not kidding, the story is absolute nonsense. Why would someone who wants millions of dollars like kidnap a hacker into giving them that money instead of hiring a hacker makes absolute no sense and those motivations are cliche as heck and at the end of the day you're just like come on here come on let, let's talk about this let's let, let's talk about this he's not a character like the Joker in the movie Joker, where you absolutely see what caused him to become evil. He's more like one of those whiny tr Twitter brats who is always blaming, like, the system for their own problems, for problems they caused. Also, this movie is just simply boring. That's what it is. It's boring. It's not entertaining in any way, shape, or form. There's no characters you're entirely rooting for. Obviously, Kevin Dillon, he's got good motivations, but his character it's himself is just... Uh, not the most interesting character, but... It, his motivations are good. Mel Gibson, he's just a cop trying to stop everything and Shannon Doherty's the chief of police that's about all we know about her the actors in their those roles did a fine job but the characters were terribly written the story's nonsensical just completely nonsensical and ultimately I give hot seat the two well that's all the time I have for today please like this video if you enjoyed it Please also subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as always, please remember, the Badetsky will return.